Hello. Hello. How you doing? Welcome back or hello for the first time. Today we're going to make chocolate pie. Um, the reason I laugh at that is because my husband is um, desperate for me to make chocolate pie and I've told him for years no. Now you may be thinking that's a bit weird. Why wouldn't you just make him something that he wants? He's your husband just making the bloody pie. I don't want to because I hate making chocolate pastry. Making chocolate pastry is crap because it burns easy. I don't think it tastes that great. I just don't like it. Taking all that out of the equation. The other day there I was feeling very uninspired and I had no idea what to make and I was like mm, I'll ask, I'll ask Twitter because Twitter will tell me. Um, so I went on Twitter, if you don't follow me there please do because I often ask these questions and I like to get the feedback. So I went on Twitter and I said, feeling uninspired, does anyone have any idea what I could bake? And I got loads and loads and loads of fantastic ideas, loads and loads and loads. And then I got this. That is a huge tweet from my husband that had a ton of likes and retweets saying chocolate pie. Then I remembered, oh yeah, he wants chocolate pie. Then it occurred to me, my husband has no idea the difference between a chocolate pie and a chocolate tart. So, really kinda, we're actually making a chocolate tart, but we're going to tell him it's a pie. I guess the difference between the two of them is that a pie has like a crust that you would bake at a pastry. A tart has like a biscuit base, almost like a cheesecake base. I say almost, probably identical to a non-baked cheesecake base, but it's biscuits and butter. And then we're going to make like a kind of ganache moussey kind of idea to put in the inside. Then we're going to set it and we're going to cut it into pie slices, like triangles. Um, and then we're going to tell him to make the pie and then he's going to be really happy and then I'm going to be the good wife who did the right thing. Let's do that. Now before I do that, I know I did this in my last video, but I am wearing my own merch right now. If you like this merch, it's got a little kawaii buddha on there. If you like this and would like one for yourself, there is a link below and it's a fantastic way to support me if you wish to support me in any way, shape or form. Moving swiftly on, no longer shilling myself, I'm going to now show you the ingredients to what we're going to need to make this pie and uh, we'll go through there. Okay, hello. So this is everything you're going to need for our pie. Um, so we're going to start off with the crust. I'm going to show you what that entails. It's basically biscuits and butter. So here we have 75 grams of butter and 250 grams of bourbon biscuits. If you don't know what a bourbon biscuit is, this is a bourbon biscuit. It's kind of like an Oreo in a sense where it's got like a kind of creamy filling. Um, it's just two chocolate biscuits sandwiched between a filling but this is a chocolate filling as well. You can use any chocolate biscuits you want or if you really don't want to use chocolate biscuits and you want to use a white biscuit or a creamy biscuit, any biscuit you fancy, honestly, digestives, anything. What you would usually use for a cheesecake base is honestly fine for this recipe but I just really wanted to use bourbons. Now in saying that, is it bourbon or bourbon? Anyway, whatever. I don't want to use them. Anyway, in saying that, I wish I hadn't because this took me forever to get. Um, there's still little wee bobbly bits in there, like that, but I'm just not spending any more time um, making a crust. That, that, that will have to do. I mean, I could sit here all day and squeeze all those little bits out. So I suggest using a biscuit that does crumb quite easily, whereas these biscuits don't, but they're a nice flavour. What we're going to do is we're going to melt this butter, mix it with this, and then we're going to put it in this tin that you see here. So that is the base. For the rest of the pie, well, I'm going to stop doing this as well. What we're going to do is we're going to melt 100 grams of dark chocolate, 100 grams of milk chocolate. We've got 200 milliliters of double cream, which we're going to whip into stiff peaks. Vanilla extract and some icing sugar. For the icing sugar, you're going to need two tablespoons of icing sugar. You're going to need one tablespoon of vanilla. Let's start the base now because the base has to go in the fridge. So we've got our melted butter, we've got our crumbs. So we're just going to mix them together. But yeah, that's kind of what we're looking for. It's all the one colour now. There's not any wee crumbs lying around. There's no pools of butter. It's all combined. And you can see that when I do that, it goes quite thick straight away. Like it can be moulded. So that's good. 
So get your tin, get the appropriate size tin and pour your mixture in. Now, I like to use my hands for this, but you can use the back of a spoon. You can use really what you want to use. Okay, some people use like cups and things. Um, honestly, there is no tool for smooshing. Just smoosh to your heart's content. I just like to use my hands because I can. I feel like I can genuinely feel the um, thickness all the way around, so I know if it's even or not. And if you use your fingers, you can actually pull your biscuits up the edge of your tin. Like so. I'm happy with that. It's up the edges enough that when we take a slice there'll be a back on it. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So that will now go in the fridge for like 20 minutes before you put your fill in it. Okay, so for the filling I did mention we have to whip the cream. I did it off camera because honestly I don't really see the point in showing you how to whip cream. You either get a whisk or a fork if you don't have a whisk or if you do have an electric whisk use that um, it's basically you just whip it until it's stiff so the reason we have to whip it so stiff is because we're going to add melted chocolate into it so into this cream just now we're going to add our vanilla no we'll drop the spoon there so it's one teaspoon of vanilla so we'll add that in next we're going to add two tablespoons of icing sugar and I'm just going to serve mine. Nice wee cloud of sugary air there. And I'm just going to start mixing that into the cream just now. And then we'll add our chocolate. That's fine, so I'm just going to add our chocolate in now. That's our 100 grams of melted dark chocolate. When I showed you this earlier, it was not melted, but... Again, I went and melted it off camera because I figured I really don't need to show you my melting chocolate. You know how to melt chocolate. You can either melt it in a bain marie or melt it in a microwave. I'm going to add in the milk chocolate now, again 100 grams. And now we're just going to give it a bloody good mix round. So that is our chocolate filling mixture. I would say that's evenly mixed. And now all we have to do is put it inside our tart or our pie and I'm telling Marcus. Okay, so our pie crust or our tart base is now out of the fridge and we're just going to plop this mixture in the inside. I'm just using this tool to smooth it all down. Um, you can use anything you want, like the back of a spoon or your fist, anything you fancy really. We're looking to try and get it as smooth as possible and as tidy as possible to the edges. So I'm just carefully pushing it to the edges while also trying to keep it nice and smooth. I'm not the greatest at decoration and finessing. I'm more of a kind of rustic cook. I kind of just throw things together and uh, take it how it is, you know? So this isn't going to be like Michelin star chef kind of looks, but it's going to be nommy. So he's fine. That's probably smoother than I'm going to get it. So it's now going to go in the fridge for roughly about two hours before you serve it. It's just enough time for it to kind of go hard enough that it can be dished out and not fall to bits. Hello. So it's been two hours. Our um, pie has been in the fridge for that amount of time and it's fully set. It came out of tin, no bother. And we're going to decorate it quite nice, I think. I think we're going to get some ice and sugar and dust it and whatnot. So let's get some ice and sugar, dust it dead nice, and then we'll cut some slices. Chocolate pie. Chocolate pie. You wanted chocolate pie? I did. I didn't, I didn't think you would actually make it because you spent ages telling me that it's not real. Kinda real. Sorry, what was that? It kinda is real. So, so you're saying I was right? Hmm. I'm saying it's kind of real. Right. 
Tastes real. Do you like it? No, this is really good. I like it. It's very rich. That is. Mm. Thank you. Well, I hope you like it because there's um, that much left. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's probably enough for like 18 people, 20 people. I'm trying to lose weight. So you like it? Yeah. Smashing. Thank you very much for trying my chocolate pie. You now have to eat the best of the chocolate pie. But I don't think I'll be able to do that in one sitting. But You've I'll got try. two days. I've got two days? Okay, I'm not eating that in two days. It should keep in the fridge for like two, three days. After that, throw it away. Because it's got fresh cream and stuff inside it. Freeze it. I don't know if you can freeze it though. It'll be fine. You can't just be like, it'll be fine without knowing it'll be fine. Freeze it, it'll be fine. Freeze it. Well, no, you're not eating this frozen and it's not getting frozen. You just need to eat it fresh and you'll be done with it, that's it. Well, if you eat it frozen, it'll be like ice cream. Mmm, essential, it'll be ice cream, man. Like an ice cream pie? Oh, it's not right. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. I said it was kind of like a pie and he argued with me that it was definitely a pie so he thinks it's a pie so that's all that really matters really it is delicious um takes like no time at all to make um and you know see if you're having people around it makes loads um the chocolate i used was very very cheap chocolate it was like 40 pence a bar the biscuits i used are like 50 pence for the full packet and i used the full packet minus like two um i used some margarine that I already had. Honestly, probably the most expensive thing in this was probably the double cream, but you can get double cream for like 60 pence. So it's a really, really cheap thing to make. You end up making loads of it, and it's a very impressive thing to pull out in front of friends if you want to have a dinner party, whatever, on a budget. So I'd recommend making this if you are interested in making anything chocolatey. Um, fully recommend. And as I said before, you don't have to use bourbon biscuits, you can use any biscuits you want, honestly. You just do what you want, because that's what bacon's all about. Follow the kind of general rules, how long to chill it, how long to cook it, how long to do anything like that. But other than that, just kind of do what you want, because that's what I do. And it works. Nine times out of ten, it works. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't, but you learn from your mistakes. You can only do what you can do. So anyway, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you being here while I made this chocolate tart pie. If you wish to support me in any way, shape or form, I have merch, like I mentioned at the start of the video, and I also have a Patreon. And um, Links to them are down below in the description. I also have a Twitter and Instagram if you're interested in them, again, they'll be in the description below. If you make this, please take pictures and show me. I'd love to see how they turned out. I'd like to see if you changed anything, if you did anything different, anything like that at all. I want to see. Let me know. You can do that on Twitter. So I'm going to go for now, I'm going to eat the rest of this, and I'll see you later. Bye! It's kind of like an Oreo in the sense that... Hello? Just in case you can... What the f*** is that for? Right, it's for a joke, for a video. It's just in case you go in What and joke? And go, why the f*** is he got these? Right. I love how I'm just still holding it, basically.